Hello guys. Welcome to another video which features the world's most famous paintings. This video takes viewers on an in-depth journey on some of the most iconic and beloved works of art from around the world. Let's start with. Michelangelo's painting The Creation of Adam depicts the moment when God breathes life into Adam, the first human being, from the biblical book of Genesis. The painting shows God reaching out to Adam with a spark of life, while Adam looks up with a look of awe and anticipation. The painting also features other figures, such as God's helpers, angels, and the creation of Eve. Half-length portrait painted by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci is known as the Mona Lisa. The woman in the painting is seated, and it is thought that she represents Lisa Gerardini, Francesco del Giocondo's wife. Since spectators have been mesmerized for centuries by the woman's mysterious grin and stare, the painting has come to represent the Renaissance and the power of art. The Last Supper, another masterwork by Leonardo da Vinci, represents the incident in the Bible where Jesus predicts that one of the apostles will betray him. In the picture, Jesus is seated in the middle of a table with the twelve apostles. An archway can be seen in the background of the picture, which is set against a backdrop of a dimly lighted room. The apostles' astonishment and fear at Jesus' announcement are depicted in the picture. The goddess Venus is seen in The Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli as she approaches the beach after emerging from the water. Venus' arrival is depicted in the artwork at that very time, with the wind blowing her clothes and hair and the zephyrs pulling her to the shore. The artwork is regarded as one of the most recognizable examples of the Renaissance and has come to represent the beauty and influence of fine art. Pablo Picasso painted Guernica in 1937 in response to the Spanish Civil War shelling of the Basque town of Guernica. The monochromatic masterwork, which has come to represent anti-war movement, depicts the horrors of war with twisted, distressed individuals and animals. The painting's central figure, a bull, is a symbol of strength and power, and its chaotic composition captures the chaos and horror of war. Salvador Dali produced the artwork The Persistence of Memory in 1931. The surrealist classic, which is renowned for its dreamlike and eerie aspect, depicts melting pocket watches draped over fantastical environments and warped items. An iconic representation of the surrealism movement is the painting. Gustav Klimt's The Kiss was created between 1908 and 1909. The work features a couple locked in an intimate embrace, with intricate patterns and gold leaf adorning their clothing and the background. The painting is an iconic representation of Art Nouveau and symbolizes the themes of love, passion, and intimacy. Its luxurious and sensuous style has made it one of the most recognizable and beloved artworks of the 20th century. John Constable produced The Hay Wagon as a painting in 1821. The artwork shows a rural setting with a horse-drawn cart hauling hay against a cloudy and blue sky background. The artwork serves as a classic example of English romanticism and the splendor of the English countryside. Whistler's Mother is a painting by James McNeil Whistler, created in 1871. The work features a portrait of Whistler's mother, Anna McNeil Whistler, seated in a simple, austere manner. The painting is an iconic representation of American art and has become a cultural icon, symbolizing maternal love, sacrifice, and quiet dignity. Its simplicity and restrained elegance have made it one of the most recognizable and beloved paintings in history. The Girl with a Pearl Earring by Johannes Vermeer was created in the 17th century. The work features a young woman with a headscarf and a large pearl earring, looking directly at the viewer with a mysterious and enigmatic expression. The painting is an iconic representation of Dutch Baroque art and has become a cultural icon, symbolizing beauty, femininity, and sensuality. Its subtle use of light and color, as well as the subject's gaze, have made it one of the most recognizable and beloved paintings in the world. And now you know.
If you like this video, consider liking, subscribing, and don't forget to click the notification bell for more video updates. Thank you.